So I wanted to get into a very controversial topic that I had been wanting to speak on for a long time, but I really wanted to gather my thoughts on this because unlike everybody else, I don't think I wanted to hurry into this one with the response that mostly has to do with my emotional connection to hearing some of the things. Now, obviously, I'm an African-American born and bred generation, generationally, as far as I know, you know, uh, American actor. That being said, when I first heard it, there was a part of me that I knew already sided with the idea that there was something, at least to the idea that British or, or, or European born actors are better than ours, because I already thought it before it even got to the black issue. I already thought it with the white actors. The fact of the matter is not just me. I've seen most people list off their 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 favorite working actors today, and a lot of them are European. Uh, I, the bulk of them, in fact, are European, whether they are aware of it or not. I think most of us, if we started to count down and run down some of our favorite actors uh, or the people that are considered the best at what they do, a lot of them would be European actors. And it's important to try to understand that even if you're not one of those people. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I, I think the, the conversation has been framed far too much as one about talent, aptitude and ability rather than one that I think relies in the fact of socialization, culture, and a sort of resulting psychology of the way in, ways in which we approach acting and the ways in which Americans think about acting that, of course, affects actors. So that's the portion. Oops. Ow, fucking elbow, man. Jesus. <laughs> uh, that's the portion I want to get into uh, right now. Yeah, certain factors like, for one, that they fucking get knighted for being an actor over there. That tells you how serious on a national level they take the pursuit. When you look at the fact that uh, f uh, uh, film school here wasn't even really a real thing. I mean, it was always there's been film school since like the 1920s, I want to say. But the, the idea that this was a place that people should and could go and that this was a pathway to actual acting didn't really become truly sort of on a, a, so, uh, a nationalized level uh, and a, a, social, a, a conscious level until after that wave of, of, of directors came out of places like USC and UCLA and so forth. And then Everybody wanted to be in fucking film school or, or, or go there to become a director. And even still acting was not that that was not what these schools were mainly for. And when you look at the fact that theater, which is almost like college for actors, right? This is the place where you hone your training. And so this is like college basketball, college football. You, you can skip past and go straight to the league. But the fact of the matter is that there is something about that training that is that it's for most people. There are some people that transcend that and they will never need it. But the fact of the matter is for the great bulk of us, you need that training, if not for anything, but again, to give you the avenues and the different lanes to provide you the groundwork and the foundations for how it is that different people over the years have left the knowledge that they've left to us on how it is you transport yourself into different characters safely, effectively, so on and so forth, just like any other profession. There's also the fact that community theater in places like France and in places like Germany is a subsidized uh, uh, pursuit. And therefore, if it's subsidized by the state, then therefore many people can get paid doing it all across a, a spectrum so that ultimately what happens is once you legitimize it in that way, then you have made it, uh, uh, um, uh, you have made it to where it's a kind of, there's a psychology or an approach that comes to it with it that's going to allow people to focus on the actual craft of it rather than focus on becoming uh, uh, sort of outcome dependent on these various sort of validations and outside factors that have nothing to do with the craft. Um, and, and, and this validation that comes from the, the, these very small amount of gatekeepers that'll tell you whether you're an actor or not. This is a pursuit like any other. You know, you just you have a skill at it and you learn and hone that skill and then you should be able to practice it almost anywhere you want. But it's very hard for actors to be able to do that. Sure, you can get on camera and, 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 and shoot something and, and put it out there for YouTube on people to, for people to watch it. But the point is, most actors do not feel validated in any sort of way in the very few pathways for you to feel validated unless your ass is on and on one of those screens behind a screen that is supported by the institution we kind of term Hollywood. 
So then otherwise you're in this struggle as an artist and some of the things you want to play with and some of the things you have to do, you can't consider those things. You have to, con you have to consider more so uh, 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 the factors that, again, wholly lie outside. I remember going to a workshop and somebody telling you about gaining followers on your social media program in order to bring the, 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 the people to you, in order to bring eyes to you. This has nothing to fucking do with the craft of acting. I'm sorry if I'm getting passionate, but it really annoys me because this is how you create monsters. This is how you create people that are not connected to the actual pursuit. They're connected to all the outside barriers because what you're talking about there is you're talking about fame. You're talking about attention. You're not talking. That's not what acting is. Always political. And the, uh, as an offshoot of that here in America, of course, especially, you know, uh, uh, art is going to be racialized. But uh, once again, what tends to happen is then one ends up obstructing that there still is the subject of craft here or one or both or all, you know, uh, 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 identity politics are very important in the discussion that we're having currently now about things like representation and what that actually means and what words like diversity actually mean. But at the same time, that cannot start to absolve people of talking about the actual craft involved because then what it becomes is exactly what we're getting right now and exactly the way this conversation went so far left and that's why i do think it's important to get more of us to be up for these roles and to be considered for them but what we don't have is any sort of a national identity and and then of course as a direct consequence no no identity in 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 and within our own community of a soul about acting about the profession, about how important it is to a community, to a person, to uh, 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 to the uh, uh, to the world, and ultimately to civilization, we're losing that because acting has just become another sort of again a uh, 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 tool for capitalism and uh, and and a pro capitalist idea of work and labor. And so we can't talk about any of those things and not be talking about that. And again, since in some of those European countries, in a lot of them, acting is either deeply steeped in the tradition of those countries and almost in a certain ways in their national identity. Thus, as I said before, the knighthood factor. They, or it is also it is drenched in the uh, in and and not only the cultures and traditions but in their political ideas so that again it is a very communal type event tied to uh, a community so that again as I've said before other actors and and people can be an actor at all different sorts of levels without having to basically either starve or be uber rich then that, of course, is going to have something to do with the ability of people to hone in and focus in on the acting and the, and the soul of what acting is in and of itself beyond just a, again, like I said, this sort of mythological, whimsical pursuit as mo most people think of it in the, in the current context in America and the ways in which I still think black people and black African Americans suffer from because I've been in the classrooms, I've been in these environments and I've literally seen it. And I've seen it too many times and I've been in different places and why, and seen, met people from, from, from different parts of the world and it doesn't matter. You see them and they're all infected with this very capitalistic idea of what acting is and what it's about. And it permeates us in a way that I still think obviously exists in certain ways there, but it is not the same because, again, it is still a very important and a very much so within the state, within the national identity is legitimized as a profession. Whereas here, that is not the case. And I think that is something that, you know, should be entered into the conversation as well as some of the other factors that have been brought up and how we can we can change and, and radically change our own uh, 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 point of view, even if the, the, the other people don't want to join in. Uh, within our community, changing our, our ideas about what this is and, and how we each go about it to where it's not just, you know, Mahershala Ali or, or Lapita Nyong'o that are the, 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 our main sort of sources of looking at people that care about the purity of the craft, not, not a puritanical idea of craft, but the, pure, the purity of the craft itself. So that's just my own spiel on this whole thing. And, 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 and because I care about acting, because I love acting in a very deep way, because I thought this conversation was much more nuanced than, than it had been spoken of here too, or, or up until this point. 
So, uh, you know, anybody that wants to say anything different or has any other of their ideas, I, of course, welcome it. And not in some combative debate form, but just really to hear other people's 